more than a coworker, more than a friend. Linda was family to me. Uh, we actually, I would refer to her as Mama Linda or uh, Aunt Linda because, I mean, she really was just always looking out for other people, uh, even before herself. And especially for some reason, uh, I did feel, you know, like an instant connection with her and I felt like she was kind of taking me under her wing. She had this intuition, which I think was always right. And, you know, she always told me to trust my gut, uh, you know, trust, trust, trust what feels right. You know, God has a plan. And, but I think she was kind of the one to steer me uh, in the right direction in a lot of those, you know, a lot of crossroads that I feel like I had in my life with those few years that we got to spend together. So, you know, it was really amazing to have someone like that in my life. For us, it was all about having fun. And, you know, if you knew Linda, you knew that when she walked into a room, it was just like, boom, this, you know, ray of sunshine and positivity. And, and that's what, you know, really what she's going to be remembered by is, is just how positive she was. Uh, so every day when we walked in the room, it was just like, hey, if we're having fun, the listeners are having fun, you know, that came through on the air, it came through in person. Uh, it was just an everyday part of her life. So it was all fun, all positive. If we ever had any negativity that was kind of, you know, raining in on us, she, she would say, put up your negativity blockers, Rob, block everything out. It's, it's all positive all the time. I would just say I am really thankful for the time that I did get to spend with Linda and I've talked about it before. She's always in my heart and I kind of, when, when certain things come up, certain decisions need to be made, I, I almost hear her voice, uh, you know, giving that same good piece of solid motherly or aunt-like advice in my head. So she's, she's definitely always going to be with me.